you are watching Case and News. I'm your host, Anna Prophet. Today in the release. Bitcoin rate, a fact of the government and leading market players. BTCC, who will be an Aoki coin, Chinese exchange suspended Bitcoin payments. Edina coin, Ami coin, Litecoin, technology updates. Blockchain for the art, confirmation of work genuine. Details of this and other news next in the release. Bitcoin's price bets new records. Bitcoin breached $1,050 aimed a near 3% last week. According to the CoinDesk's Bitcoin price index, this data became the highest point market since the 6th of January 2017. Also, it is the highest among all time highs set in late 2013. Cryptocurrency rate remained unstable and went to decline within a few days after several Chinese exchanges stated on the suspension of Bitcoin's withdrawal. In less than 24 hours, value of Bitcoin had fallen $100. The decision to suspend Bitcoin payments was preceded by the statement of Bobby Lee, CEO of Bitcoin exchange BTCC. He delivered a speech in Blockchain Week London about possible market regulations by People's Bank in China. According to Lee, such changes are needed due to the growth of the cryptocurrency popularity in a country and introducing transactions fees by Chinese exchanges BTCC, Huobi and OKCoin. The above ones have announced about the stop of withdrawal for a month at the request of the local authorities. The official reason of this decision was the change in regulatory policy in the region and the need for compliance with the law on combating money laundering. Chinese Bitcoin and mining company Hao BTC, also known as a mining pool, closes its leather no Bitcoin exchange operation by the PBOC's regulatory requirements. The mining pool also launched a hash rate exchange, which will also stop deposits in Chinese yuan and users' accounts. The Hao BTC's wallet service, mining pool, and hash rate exchange would remain working unchanged. Chinese traders are switching to the alternative platforms. Trading volumes reached all time high on the local Bitcoins platforms. A total of 6.6 .6 million yuan was traded last week, which is fourfold bigger than 1.5 million of Bitcoin trading in yuan of the previous week. Analysts have pointed that Bitcoin's value now depends on country's policies. Due to the sudden ban on entry to the United States for citizens of seven Arab countries, Bitcoin's rate increased by $40. The decree caused disconnect of Silicon Valley, Sam Altman, CEO of iCombinator, and Mike Belch, co founder of BitGo, called fintech community to oppose the against migration ban. Europe restricts payments. European Union published a roadmap with proposal to restrict payments in cash and cryptocurrencies. According to the document called Inception Impact Assessment, cash transactions anonymity can be measured for money laundering and terrorist financing purposes, so cash payment restrictions will be able to make fighting criminal activities possible. Representatives of European Commission stated that cryptocurrency has no reporting mechanism equivalent to that found in the mainstream banking system. Czech authorities have introduced changes to the legislation according to which the cryptocurrency exchange and exchange services will be required to carry out the verification of users. All transactions will be regulated by the Know Your Customer policy, which consists of identifying and establishing the identity of the counterparty before carrying out financial transaction. In Asia, however, blockchain is widely distributed. Drafal Swim Protip, a partner of the law firm Baker McKenzie Taylor, said, Many existing laws lack supporting regulations to work in parallel with blockchain. Currently, the Electronic Transaction Development Agency is in the process of amending the Electronic Transaction Act 2001 to support the use of smart contracts via the adoption of blockchain. Regulation of Cryptocurrency Market in Canada CoinAudil popular news portal has conducted an interview and investigation on this subject, questioning three representatives of the Canadian banking structure. Canadian Bankers Association, the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, and Bank ATB Financial. Anik Faucher, representative of OSFI, stated that all risks are not yet explored, so any specific options are not to be taken. The representatives of the ATB, Wellington Holbrook, on the contrary, claims that he is able to compete with the large Canadian banks through the introduction of new technologies, primarily blockchain technology. Immediately after this short ads, continuation of the symbiosis of banking industry and future technologies, development of the leading cryptocurrencies, and ICO of the first blockchain game based on the augmented reality.
want to become rich and successful? Earn without working. Being boss to yourself only. Ensure your financial independence and feel the freedom. Make money not only on exchange rates, but also receive a daily guaranteed income. We want to make money working for ourselves, and we are ready to help you become rich. By visiting this website today, you will make the first step towards your financial freedom. Register now. Blockchain technology, specifically for banks, official of Fusion Financials, the biggest Chinese blockchain startup, announced that the company will unveil a blockchain technology for the bank this year. According to the Director of Overseas Marketing of Yuzhen, Arik Zhao, their company is in the process of designing products for business ventures. Yuzhen is also planning to subsidize academic studies on the subject of financial cryptography. Eden Account has released a series of updates to improve the functioning of the system and working with the user's wallets. Was improved the algorithm of personal and referral mining, conducted the changes of the conditions for trusted accounts, and redesigned personal account in the wallets. In addition, Eden Account increased transaction speed and increased protection. The current update will only work for the wallets of the latest version. The update is available to download on EdenAccoin.com. Mining merged with Bitcoin is being implemented in the update 060 of Emercoin wallet, as a representative of Emercoin, Ivan Kuznetsov stated in the interview to Forklog News Portal. In the new version, a non-critical vulnerability of proof-of-stake algorithm called double voting is being fixed. Besides that, bug leading to the handing of the wallet with a large number of transactions is remitted. Developers have also launched a merged mining option. Emicoin and Bitcoin miners would be able to simultaneously earn two cryptocurrencies without any malfunctions in a platform. On a current stage, team of Emicoin's development is in a process of sending out special offers to the biggest pools in order to make them move toward the merged mining. Recognition of the transition to the merged mining is the consent of 95% miners of any kind of pool, so network will switch to the new version of protocol. Growing number of users push Litecoin towards a scaling update. The representative's report update would be based on the segregation witness technology. For now, miners are in the process of voting on the update, which is currently on the level of 3 out of 75%. Segregation witness update is also supported by Litecoin's creator Charlie Lee, who stated on importance to pull the politics out of the segwit on Litecoin in a recent Reddit AMA. Crowdfunding on a blockchain-based augmented reality game, large-scale voting and transformation of art market, immediately after the ads. E-commerce, warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession, making it easy and low cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. The first blockchain-based game announced an ICO. Augmented, the first blockchain-based augmented reality game has announced an ICO of its DataBits tokens. It is required to gain $1 million until the 28th of February 2017. The DTB tokens will be available in a ratio of 15,000 data bits to 1 Bitcoin. All funds raised will be used for developing the alpha version of Augmentus. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has announced the first blockchain voting. FanVote is run by Votem that builds mobile voting platforms to enable people around the world to easily and securely vote online and through mobile devices. About 2 million people from 100 different countries cast their votes for their favorite rock artist. 60% of those voted through their phones. Votem's blockchain platform enables to easily collect votes from all around the world without the risk of facially adding to the vote counts. A 
A network digital ledger puts an end to non-transparency in the world of art. Judith Pearson, the president of the Breckenridge Private Asset Management Group, believes that the lack of transactional standards on this market could overcome with the help of blockchain, a system which is capable to keep track of the work of arts movements. Such a system has got use in startup Ascribe, which offers artists a platform for uploading their digital works, securing their attribution and selling them. The value of work is based on its provenance, but how do you track the provenance of a digital work that can be copied millions of times? Another startup blocker tried to answer this question. Their platform is instantly signalizing if someone tries to claim somebody else's work. However, digital works are only a smaller segment of the art market. The real cap will be to bridge the gap between physical art and blockchain, so George McDonough suggested a solution by combining it with tagging technology. As a result, it was created a prototype of a chain mark, unique fingerprint that can be hashed onto a blockchain. These are all the news for today. Keep yourself in the loop, watch case news and our daily digests. Put the likes and subscribe to our channel. See you in a week.